हेलो जूनियर्स सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन इन द कंटिन्यूड सीरीज ऑफ अपर लेम एनाटमी एंड आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज मीडियन नर्व वंस अगेन मीडियन नर्व इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड यू विल बी श्योरली आज ऑन दिस टॉपिक फॉर अप्रॉक्सली फाइव टू टेन मार्क्स सो बी विथ मी एंड इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर मीडियन नर्व ओरिजिन कोर्स ब्रांचेज एंड मसल इनोवेशन क्लिनिकल एंड आर्ट में गोइंग विद द मीडियन नर्व मीडियन नर्व ओरिजिन रूट वैल्यू सी सिक्स टू टी वन ऑफ ब्रैकियल प्लेक्सिस ब्रैकियल प्लेक्सिस इफ यू हैवन डन इफ यू हैवन सीन माई वीडियो ऑन ब्रैकियल प्लेक्सिस गो चेकआउट माई ब्रैकियल प्लेक्सिस वीडियो कंटिन्यूइंग रूट वैल्यू सी सिक्स टू टी वन so it corresponds to c6 7 8 and t1 lateral and medial cord combine together to form this median nerve done with the origin now course it is closely related first of all let me show you what exactly is median nerve so this is the app which i will help you to visualize the median nerve so this is the arm and this one is forearm many student confuse an arm and forearm above elbow corresponds to the arm and below elbow corresponds to the forearm as i said earlier these roots of brachial plexus form the median nerve i am highlighting you the median nerve with green so this is our median nerve this is our brachial artery coming from the roots coming from the roots lateral and medial cord forms the median nerve it goes throughout the forearm goes throughout the arm then forearm and then continues to the palm in this depiction you can clearly appreciate how this median nerve is always running close to the brachial artery this one is the brachial artery and throughout the course this median nerve is running closely to the brachial artery so in the dissection exam if you are asked to find out the median nerve in forearm in arm you will always first think about the brachial artery you will find the brachial artery it's a thick artery in the forearm main artery of forearm and nerve running along with brachial artery corresponds to the median nerve so continuing it is closely related to brachial artery throughout the arm therefore we will locate the nerve with the help of this artery i think this is clear to you now we will study one by one the parts of median nerve it is in the upper part is it is lateral to the artery in the middle part it crosses in front of artery it comes from lateral to medial side in the lower part it is medial to the artery up to elbow showing you with the help of another depiction this is somewhat realistic this corresponds to the arm this is our median nerve as i said earlier in this theory in the upper part it is lateral to the artery upper part it is lateral this is lateral side this is medial side upper part it is lateral to the artery in the middle part it crosses in front of artery 
you can appreciate this in the middle part it crosses in front of artery and in the lower part it is medial to the artery so once it crosses the artery it comes in the medial side showing you the with the help of another example this is our median now this one is our, this one is our median now so in the upper once again in the upper part it is lateral to the artery in the middle of the arm it crosses the brachial artery in front of it and in the lower part it is medial to the artery see here it comes medial to the artery it is superficially located except at elbow where it is crossed by bicepital aponeurosis throughout the arm it is superficially located except at the bicepital aponeurosis this is our median nerve in the upper part it is lateral to the artery in the middle part it crosses the artery and in the lower part it becomes medial to the artery but till this course it was superficially located at the elbow it goes underneath the bicepital aponeurosis this is a bicep tendon and aponeurosis aponeurosis is a flattened tendon it goes beneath the bicepital aponeurosis it is said it is superficially located except at elbow where it is crossed by bicepital aponeurosis done with the origin and course now if you are asked of the median nerve and you have not drawn this diagram in the in your university university exam then you will surely lose much marks so again practicing this diagram with the help of you uh, with you so this corresponds to our brachial artery this is my median nerve and this is bicepital aponeurosis marking with you this is my median nerve going lateral upper part lateral to artery middle part crosses the artery in front of it and lower part medial to artery at elbow it goes underneath the bicepital aponeurosis done with origin and course doing branches and muscle innervation now branches and muscle innervation this is divided in three top three headings nerve to muscles means median nerve supplying two muscles this we will sh uh, do it right now in a moment secondly vasomotor nerve to the abdo uh, to the brachial artery so vasomotor nerve to the brachial artery i have depicted this assume this is a brachial artery and this is a median nerve so median nerve give branches to the brachial artery to the smooth muscles of brachial artery so that artery can dilate or constrict so median nerve also give vasomotor nerve to the brachial artery and thirdly articular branch to the elbow joint this branch median nerve also give branch to the elbow joint now doing the mus continuing so the muscle innervated by nerve firstly showing you the better picture so that you can understand this this is the diagram taken from bdc starting from above medial root and lateral root forms the median nerve as you can see this is medial root this is lateral root forms the median nerve sympathetic fiber to brachial artery sympathetic fiber to axillary artery median nerve provide both to the axillary artery and brachial artery so that they these arteries can dilate or constrict whenever needed now it this vasomotor nerve to the brachial artery done articular branch to the elbow joint this is the branch this is given off at elbow joint now covering the muscles one by one 
So for remembering the muscle innervated by median nerve, you should remember that median nerve is the prominent nerve of arm and forearm. So the muscles of so the muscle so the flexor muscles mainly will be supplied by median nerve of forearm. So firstly the pronator teres is supplied by median nerve, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus and flexor digitorum superficialis is supplied by median nerve and median nerve divides at a point where it gives branch called anterior introsius nerve as the name suggests anterior it is anterior side of forearm introsius that is in between two bones so this nerve corresponds to anterior introsius nerve this anterior introsius nerve gives branches to flexor pollicis longus lateral half of flexor digitorum profundus and pronator quadratus done with this now we will once you will write all this in exam then you have to depict this uh, by showing a schematic diagram since this diagram is too complicated from BDC I have taken this diagram from Vishram Singh so this muscle was our flexor digitorum pollicis you can flexor digitorum pollicis flexor digitorum profundus sorry flexor digitorum profundus this muscle was our flexor pollicis longus, flexor pollicis longus, and this muscle is our pronator quadratus PQ, right? Name denoting with PQ, pronator quadratus. This muscle is our pronator teres PT. This muscle, flexor carpi radialis. F C R this is our palmaris longus and this corresponds to flexor digitorum superficialis pronator teres flexor carpi this is our median nerve median nerve and as I said it goes beneath the now this is our flexor retinaculum of palm muscle so there are total seven muscles in the forearm supplied by median nerve this is these are pronator teres flexor carpi radialis palmaris longus flexor digitorum superficialis flexor pollicis longus pronator quadratus and flexor digitorum flexor digitorum profundus this is supplied these three are supplied as i said are supplied by anterior inter OS anterior intosius no again visualizing this till the here pronator now pronator terrace flexor carpi radialis palmaris longus flexor digitorum superficialis here median nerve gives branch called anterior introsius nerve this anterior introsius nerve gives muscle innervation to flexor pollicis longus this one flexor digitorum profundus flexor digitorum profundus and pronator quadratus so by drawing this schematic diagram in exam you will surely get a higher number than your companions done with branches and muscle innervation
Once again, muscle supplied by median nerve, pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, flex palmaris longus, flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum profundus, and pronator quadristus. These three are supplied by entry, anterior introsius nerve. Now, doing clinical anatomy, clinical correlation, surgical safe side of fora. Showing you with the help of my model so median nerve goes from the gross grossly median nerve is in the medial side of arm mainly and from here it goes elbow and up to here I think you can see this this is the medial side of arm. So clinical correlation is related to this point. Lateral side of the anterior aspect of the forearm is considered to be safe side by the surgeons. Why? This is because median nerves run mostly medially and any trauma to this nerve will affect large number of muscles. I think this was all clear to you, hope you stayed with me and you understood, understood this topic, thank you so much.